Hi, Kevin McCarty, current assembly member for the city of Sacramento and I'm running for mayor of my hometown of Sacramento. There are uh, choices and good candidates. Um, I, I know them all, I've, I've worked with them all, I respect them all. I just think that I have the best track record experience to help Sacramento move forward. You know, I'm a lifelong Sacramento, not, not that that is a necessity, uh, but this is my hometown uh, where, I'm, where my kids are in high school, we're raising them as well. Um, but I, I've served, I think, in distinction as a city commissioner, as a city council member, and as assembly member, uh, delivering for Sacramento, uh, being effective for our communities, for our city, bringing in state resources, bringing in innovative ideas uh, for our problems. And so, you know, I think I have, the, you know, the best chance to be effective working on things like housing, homelessness, our environment, our youth, public safety. Uh, looking at my record and my ideas going forward as mayor, I think I'm, I'm primed to, uh, to really uh, serve my hometown of Sacramento and serve, serve you, the people of Sacramento, most importantly. This city gave me so much, you know, uh, we, we benefited from Sacramento growing up here. Um, you know, didn't have a lot, uh, single parent family, you know, Sacramento helped my mom uh, prosper. And I want to give back to my city that gave me so much. Um, so where I'm raising my kids as well, they're, they're freshmen in high school. Um, I love Sacramento, just the collection of neighborhoods and people, diversity, nonprofits, small businesses, you know, not too small, uh, not too big. It's just an amazing city. And I, I want us to be the best version of ourselves. You know, some people are like, oh, we should be more like this city and that city. No, we're Sacramento, we're an amazing city. We do have our challenges, which I'm rolling my sleeves up to tackle those, but I want us to be the best version of ourselves. Well, I went out recently to the point in, in time count and saw people on the streets myself. And it's a big issue. It is our collective issue we need to solve. It's the reason I'm giving up my amazing job serving you, people of Sacramento, as your assembly member, because I see it firsthand. You know, my kids are walking home from school last year from middle school and have to go in the street underneath the bridge to get home. Uh, we see encampments uh, on our American River Parkway, at parks, in front of businesses. It's, it's too much. Um, and I think we need more of a sense of urgency today to solve the problem. Um, you know, I think that we need to have more uh, temporary shelter sites like at Cal Expo where I wrote a law having, you know, tiny homes there. Or, you know, the city courtyards or under Caltrans facilities. You know, we need to get people off the streets today. It may not be a perfect solution, but I'm looking for practical solutions where people can have water, and bathrooms and trash cans and some services, you know, um, in, in some of these areas. And then we focus on uh, permanent solutions. You know, I've realized too, it's not always about money. I gave this example in the last couple years, you know, I got a $25 million earmark for the county to build an emergency shelter to get people off of the parkway, the American River Parkway. Uh, we're going on two years. The money has, it hasn't, not one penny has been spent. So, you know, I, I've seen it. I've helped deliver money to local government. And I don't always see action. So I want to bring more of a sense of urgency today to get people off the streets. It's, it's not good for them. It's not good for our communities, our neighborhoods. You know, kids walking home from school like my kids. And, um, you know, it's, it's priority number one. And the people of Sacramento demand a swift action. It's a big issue. Uh, we need all levels of, of, of housing, um, for seniors, for students, from people who work, you know, in retail. You know, we, we need to have uh, more uh, funding. I support some type of ballot measure to help subsidize the building of more affordable housing. I want to, you know, uh, streamline permitting to make it easier to build housing in, uh, in Sacramento. And we need to think outside the box. One of the things that I pride myself on is I wrote the law allowing us to convert state office buildings into housing. So turning, you know, lemons into lemonade, literally. So, you know, the old EDD building on Capitol and 8th it used to be state office building. After the pandemic, people aren't going back to work as much. And so, you know, my law is now being implemented. We're going to have 500 affordable housing units right there in the core of Sacramento. Um, I want to do this next to the old courthouse. And so there are other opportunities we can utilize some of our um, assets that aren't being, you know, uh, you know, fully taken advantage of and address issues like, like housing. So we need multiple uh, solutions, but this issue impacts, um, you know, homelessness, but also impacts, you know, Sacramento livability and ability for people, you know, to go to college and come back and, 
be able to afford a house here in Sacramento, especially people, you know, starting salaries can't always afford rent or, nor to buy a house. It's a real issue, especially this issue of retail theft. You know, people see the smash and grab videos on the news or on social media, but also they go into Target and can't get their deodorant or tooth, you know, what have you, because it's locked up. So it's an issue that we need to address. Um, frankly, I'm doing it right now in my day job. As, as your assembly member, I'm chairing the Public Safety Committee, uh, authoring legislation right now to bring about needed reforms for repeat retail theft and drug use related to Prop 47. So interestingly enough, in my last year in the legislature, I'm gonna be authoring bills and bringing solutions to make my job easier when I am mayor of Sacramento. So, you know, some of these issues, cities and mayors can't really tackle. They're, they're bigger statewide issues. And, um, you know, I'm on the case right now working on that. And um, I, I'm comfortable with what we're doing, what we're doing, the reforms with issues like mental health, um, you know, conservatorships, you know, you know, helping dealing with these issues that community members see on a daily basis. So some of the, some of the major um, solutions are at the state level. So, you know, I hope to be mayor next year of Sacramento, but currently I'm, I'm bringing real um, ideas and plans to make a difference here in Sacramento and throughout California. As a candidate for mayor, you can say you're going to do X, Y, and Z, but it's really, a lot of these are because of what's happening at the state level. So I've been tapped by our leadership in the assembly to chair this really controversial public safety committee. And I'm um, working with, you know, police chiefs, DAs, advocacy groups, and we're coming up with a reform package. And so, you know, you will see um, a, a major um, solution in the coming months you know, addressing um, retail theft, um, repeat uh, retail theft, uh, drug use, you know, frankly bringing about more accountability to public safety because, you know, you can have our reforms we've had in the last few years, but also bring about more accountability for people who are, you know, continuing to, to create havoc in our communities. It's always our, our youth. The youth are our future. You know, I always say that uh, young people under 18 make up 50% uh, of the present, but 100% of the future. So you need to make sure we focus on our youth. Um, you know, I grew up here in Sacramento, a single parent uh, family. We benefited from public programs and after school sports programs, kept us out of trouble and, you know, you know, really helped my family, you know, childcare for a single mom. So, you know, those programs help families, but also, you know, help keep kids uh, safe. Um, you know, if you, you, uh, things we can do to address things like gun violence or, you know, uh, juvenile crime. You know, after school programs are key. And you know, I think, you know, uh, job training programs, apprenticeship programs that the, that the city can work with, uh, you know, young people. Th those are really key to our future. And so I think we can't uh, lose focus on the current issues, uh, housing and homelessness, public safety, but also our youth. Youth are our future. Well, unfortunately, it's something I have experience with. You know, I served on the city council when we were in the Great Recession, so we had to make horrific cuts. We had to, you know, lay off public safety officers. We had to, you know, shutter fire stations, you know, close our swimming pools. I never want to have to go through that again. You know, I, I authored Measure U to restore city services in 2012. Um, you know, but now we have another issue. So, you know, part of it, you know, I, my understanding is bringing more resources from the state to address issues like homelessness. That's our gap. And so that's one of my benefits is I can work with our state, uh, you know, partners to bring resources to Sacramento. I think it's one of the big advantages I have of being mayor. Um, but also, you know, looking what we're doing across the city. We want to make sure we, we keep our focus on the core issues like police and fire and parks but look for ways how we can find savings or you know, focus on inefficiencies. And so you know, I, I take this very seriously that we have to live within our means. And um, you know, we have this emerging deficit. It's gonna be addressed this year and next year. So you know, everything needs to be on the table to bring about solutions. But first and foremost, we need to protect um, programs that impact our communities.